And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. There once was a boy who lived in a house, and the house sat under a tree. By the tree ran a fence that stretched far and wide around the gated community. Can I have my ball? Can you get my ball? I kicked it into the tree. And my ball bounced up. And my ball dropped in to the gated community. Oh, the gated community is where we like to be. Everything's so lovely, oh, our hearts are filled with glee. And when you come to visit, you can stand outside and see what a lovely bunch we are in our gated unity. Um, can I have my ball? Can you get my ball? I kicked it into the tree. And my ball bounced up. And my ball dropped in. To the gated community. Oh, the gated community is where we like to be. Our clothes are never dirty and our lawns are always green. And when you come to visit, you can stand outside and see what a tiny bunch we are in our gated unity. The gated community, we think you will agree, is pleasantly devoid of insight and street and free. Free, free of day free. Gated community, our smiles are wide, smiles and comfy custody. And when you come to visit, you stand outside. What a smiley bunch we are in a gated unity. Oh, a gated community is where we like to be. Our lives have been made perfect by a happy entrance fee. And when you come to visit, you just stand outside and see. To the gated community. What a lovely bunch we are. To the gated community. What a happy bunch we are in a gated Been silly songs with Larry. Oh, look, the ball. Tune in next time to hear Larry say thank you. And now it's time for helpful humanitarian songs with Mr. Lunt, the part of the show where Mr. Lunt comes out and sings a helpful humanitarian song. Well, he's a mangy old pet. If you saw him, I bet. You'd walk the other way. So sad and alone, with his hair overgrown, like a stinky old toupee. But doggies have feelings, and doggies need love. And doggies like those deep fried treats. That come from up above. Oh, donuts for Penny. Please give a glaze to make him smile. Thank you, ma'am, for troubled beast. Won't you at least comfort him a while? Sir, can you spare a donut for Penny? Please help my doggy friend. Thank you, kind sir. A honey dip would really help his broken oh, heart to no. man. His broken heart to man. Well, just look at this pup. <laughs> he's brightening up. Oh, he's looking not so weak. Oh, Benny. <laughs> his outlook was grim till you get pastries to him. Oh, look, he wants to speak. Oh, doggies have feelings. <laughs> and doggies need love. Yes, boy, and doggies like sweet, doughy treats that come from a papa. Oh, we are again, baby. Around, around, around. They start not to dream me, they're filming. Hey, Even though my feet touch the ground. I feel like a ship from an ocean of joy. Maybe you shouldn't have any more donuts. Doggies no, 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 don't give him any more. They make doggies him crazy. Like Mary Lewis. No, no, no more donuts for the dog. Oh, man, this is a terrible idea. Oh, 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 o
Take a ship from an ocean of joy. And just one of the high ones we're on again. Round, around, around, round. This has been Helpful Humanitarian Songs with Mr. Lunt. Tune in next time to hear Mr. Lunt say... Don't give donuts to dogs! <laughs> and now it's time for Love Songs with Mr. Lunt. The part of the show where Mr. Lunt comes out and sings a love song. said to her I'd like a cheeseburger And I might like a milkshake as well She said to him I can't give you either And he said isn't this burger bell She said yes it is but we're closed now But we open tomorrow at 10 He said I am extremely hungry Yes, I can wait until then Cause you're his cheeseburger His yummy cheeseburger He'll wait for you, ooh, yeah He'll wait for you, ooh, oh You are his cheeseburger His tasty cheeseburger He'll wait for you, ooh Oh, he will wait for you Till sunrise He may have dozed off once or twice When he spotted a billboard for Denny's Bacon and eggs for half price How could he resist such an offer? He really needed something to munch Cheeseburger, please do not get angry Be back for you, ooh. He'll be back for you, ooh. Won't be so long, cheeseburger. Oh, lovely cheeseburger. Be back for you, ooh. Oh, he'll be back for you. Cause he loves you, cheeseburger, with all his heart. And there ain't nothing gonna dare you to do a fart. And if the world thought he'd live Say, I grew up in New Jersey. And now it's time for bedtime songs with Junior, the part of the show when Junior gets tucked into his warm, comfy bed and is sung a bedtime song. Good night, good night. I'll tuck. Kiss your cheek, soon you will sleep. Now close your eyes, good night. Um, uh, Mom? Yes, Junior? Can I have my bear? Your bear? My bear, right there, with brown and fuzzy hair. I love him so, and you must know I feel so much despair. I moan and groan and cry and weep. My tears would drown my counting sheep. You have to sleep, oh please, Mom, please don't make me sleep. Oh, my fuzzy bear. Thanks. Good night, good night. The lights are off, good night. I'll fluff your sheets, soon you will sleep. Now close your eyes. 
guys. Good night. Uh, Mom? Hmm? Can I have my cat? Your cat? My cat. Yes, that. He's soft and cute as that. I love him so, and you must know my heart would fall down flat. It would yearn and ache, and then it'd break. My tears would soak up birthday cake. The earth would quake. Oh, please, Mom, please, I'd lie awake with all my chubby cat. Good night. Good night. It's really late. Good Mommy, oh, don't go. I need my white tail dough. Good night, Junior. Good night. This has been Bedtime Songs with Junior. Tune in next time to hear Junior say... Can I have a drink of water? <laughs> Okay, Pa, we're all set. Headed out to do a little shopping. We thought we'd get Junior a real set of drums for Christmas. Look for the kind that don't make noise. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. He loves it. I think he's a natural. Hey, pal. Pal. Yeah, Dad? We're headed out. You have a nice time caroling with your friends. Grandpa will be here if you need him. I can't wait. I've been practicing. I'm gonna take this to drum along. You can take Silent Night off the list. We'll see you soon. Listen for the doorbell. Grandpa, can you listen for the doorbell? I'm going to keep practicing until Laura gets here. Sure. Sing. Yeah. Oh, where do they keep the light bulbs? Uh, probably in the garage. Maybe they got a cat. A really claggy cat. Bad kitty! Maybe he went shopping with his parents. I just saw their car drive by. That's weird. He said he really wanted to carol with us. Maybe he forgot. Uh, come on, guys. Let's go. Grandpa, did you hear the doorbell ring? Uh, nope, not yet. Ah, uh, that's better. They should have been here by now. What? They totally ditched me. Huh? Oh, I'm sure they didn't ditch you. Maybe they're just starting and they'll swing by here on their way. No, we said we'd all go out together. Probably just a little mix-up. There's no mix-up. They ditched me. Why would they do that? Well, if they don't want to be with me, then I don't want to be with them. Well, sometimes people make mistakes. The best thing you can do is forgive them. <laughs> hey, I know. Or maybe you can stay here with me and I can read you a Christmas story. A book? I don't know if I want to read right now. I'm in kind of a bad mood. Uh, it's about a drummer. A drummer? Oh, uh, yeah. And he was about your age, too. Did he do awesome drum solos? Mm, better. Nothing's better than drum solos. He had dancing animals. Dancing animals? Yeah, but you probably don't want to hear that, do you? Guess you could read a little bit. Don't try to cheer me up. Oh, I wouldn't think of it. A long time ago, there lived a little boy named Aaron. He's the drummer.
drummer? He will be, just like you. Cool. Dad, how's Baba? Baba's gonna be just fine. <gasps> oh, Baba! <laughs> this is the best birthday present ever! You were so sick! Nothing a little rest and medicine couldn't fix. If there's anyone who can help when it comes to animals, it's your father. Thanks, Dad. You know, that's not your only present. It's not? A drum? My very own drum? Thank you so much! Why don't you try it out? And perhaps because it was a gift of love, or maybe because Aaron was unnatural with the drums, when he played, the animals danced. Wow, he's great! Yep. <laughs> Unfortunately, Aaron's happy world was about to come to an end. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What do you mean? Isn't this a happy Christmas story? Every good story has some bumps along the way. What kind of bumps? Well, Aaron lived during the time of the Roman Empire. And usually, whatever the Roman army wanted, the Roman army got. Unfortunately, Aaron's farm was on land the Romans wanted. managed to hide with his animals. But his mom and dad were gone. Why do people do such terrible things? <laughs> Aaron decided right then that he didn't want anything to do with anyone anymore. We don't need people. We'll be just fine by ourselves. Come on, guys. It's just us now. Getting hungry. We got any of that fruitcake left? What? How can you think of food when Aaron is going off by himself? I'm always thinking about food. Besides, I thought you only wanted me to read a little bit. Well, sure, but then there were, you know, story bumps. Should I keep reading? Please? All right. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to their own town to register. Caesar Augustus? Oh, yeah. Caesar Augustus was the ruler of the Roman Empire at the time Jesus was born. And though the story of the little drummer boy isn't in the Bible, it's inspired by the story of Jesus' birth. In those days, the government of Rome made people travel to the place where they were born so they could be counted and taxed. What's taxed? It means they had to pay money to the Romans. The Romans who ruined Aaron's life? The same. These travelers were good people who were just obeying the law and doing what they were supposed to do. But there were others who were not so good. Just look at that, Ali. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, yeah, Ben Haramed. The land is flowing with milk and honey. Mm-hmm. And the only thing tastier than lots and lots of honey is lots and lots of money. Ha! <laughs> yeah, and the only thing tastier than lots and lots of milk is lots and lots of chocolate milk. Uh, what? Well, you see, I like chocolate milk better than regular milk. Yeah, but I was making an analogy between honey and money. And I was making an analogy between milk and chocolate milk. That's a preference, not an analogy. 
I do on occasion buy milk at a discount. Does that count? No. <sighs> okay. With so many people traveling, what better time to cash in on a little rest stop entertainment? With my impressive juggling! I'll be impressed with three. Baby steps, they're on fire! Ah! See? With the acrobatic stylings of May and we. May! We! May! We! May! We! May! We! And the side splitting comedy of Bernie! What do you get when you cross a Roman emperor with a head of lettuce? A Caesar salad! Are there crickets in the desert? Folks have been a great crowd! Don't forget to tip Ben Haramed! I think we're still missing something. I don't know, maybe music? What's a show without song and dance? <laughs> the drumming boy and dancing animals. That's exactly what we need. Everyone will want to see the show. We'll be rich. Let's get him. What? Who's there? Drummer boys and little lambs, feast your eyes across the sands, introducing an oasis of entertainment. The greatest showman this side of the Jordan, it's Ben Haramed. So you say you're in the mood for a diversion Just a song, a laugh, amusement for your pain Well, my caravan, it brings a carnival for kings Cashing in from all the crowds of Jerusalem I've got comics, gymnasts, jugglers, and yours truly But there's one important something that I lack it's the newest little drummer boy sensation. Yeah, I'll reel them in, you'll keep them coming back. Kid, your gold, they'll be sold. They'll be slinging shiny shekels uncontrolled. Every Claudius and Claudette with a buck to spare will spend it. An amazing little drummer boy, a treasure to behold. But all the people. What about them? I would rather be just left all alone. The empty, lonely <laughs> desert is my home. Drumming just for hoofed mammals, for my donkey, sheep, and camel, and remain the little drummer boy unknown. Come on, kid. Let Ben Haramid put you and your friends to work. I don't want to work. You gotta have money to eat, to feed your animals. But I don't want to be around those people. I don't want to be around anyone. Of course you don't. You don't have to. Huh? We're going to make a lot of money, Aaron. And once you've got money, you won't have to be around anyone you don't want to be around. I won't have to be around anyone? I just said that. Leave it to me, drummer boy, and you'll never have to deal with people again. Huh? Yes, I understand you'd rather be alone now, but your preferences must at the moment bend. Once you wow them on the streets, you'll grab your gold and then retreat to the desert with your little animal friends. Kid, your gold, they'll be sold. They'll be slinging shiny shekels uncontrolled. Every Claudius and Claudette with a buck to spare will spend it an amazing little drummer boy. A treasure to be hold! A treasure to be hold! All right, we'll go. Come on, guys. Maybe we can get something to eat. So Ben Hammerhead tricked Aaron into joining his group? Haramed, 
And yes, Ben was a shifty one. He didn't really plan on sharing his riches with Aaron. What? That's not fair. You know, I'm no expert, but you don't sound very bored to me. Oh, well, you know, there's not really anything else to do. We could go clean the garage. No, I mean, we might as well see what happens next. <laughs> so off they went toward Jerusalem. What do you call the person who hangs out with a bunch of musicians? A drummer! <laughs> ah. Shh! Oh, I'm just joking. That's what I do. I'm a comedian. I like to make people laugh. Well, I don't laugh. Oh, come on. Everybody likes to laugh. Not me. I can never forgive what happened to my parents. Oh, well, there's nothing you can do about the past. Can't you just, you know, forgive and forget? I can't forget. Speaking of forgetting, what do you call the guy who forgot to pay his taxes? Bernie! That's me, Bernie. I forgot to pay my taxes. Uh, do me a favor. Uh, don't tell that joke to the Romans. They don't have senses of humor. Here we are, Jerusalem. Oh, look at all these people, boss. Most of them traveling for the census and ready for some entertainment. Let's set up shop, boys. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. Attention, weary travelers, fellow taxpayers. You've come to do a little business, but let me assure you there's no business like show business. <laughs> From the farthest reaches of the Roman Empire, two peas that have the gall to make a Mesopotamia. All the way from Gaul, world-class acrobats, May and we. May, we, May, we, May, we, Mary, the Tower of Pisa. The Leaning Tower of Pisa. Mary. Wonderful! Amazing! <laughs> Let's show our appreciation for these talented tumblers. Those tumblers were lame! That's it? Hey, boss, I'm ready! I give you Juggling Ali and his three flaming torches! I can only do two! I can do two! <laughs> Somebody? Anybody? At least a couple bucks for some ointment? We gotta pick this up. Um, I can see you're a very sophisticated audience. Please welcome the witty musings of Caesarea's own Bernie Gordberg! Ha <laughs> ha! I tell ya, how do you get a tax collector to smile for the camera? Just say fees! <laughs> I don't get it. Who would tell a tax joke? Oh, rough crowd. All right, here's one for you. What's brown has a hump and lives at the North Pole? A lost camel! Huh? <laughs> what's a North Pole? Okay, what's brown and sticky? A camel! No, a stick! You know, you guys are a really forgiving audience. The last time I told that joke, they threw a slushie at me. That ain't a bad idea. Oh, dear. Help me, Ben Haramed. You're my only hope. Okay, thank you, Bernie. Isn't he funny, folks? Nothing like a little bubblegum humor. <laughs> uh, all right, boy, you're up next. You gotta wow him. Are you ready? I guess so. How are you gonna make him happy if you don't look happy? Son, you gotta smile. I don't smile. What do you mean you don't smile? Everybody smiles. I'm smiling right now. Well, I don't. Not for people, anyway. 
I only smile for my friends. <laughs> People took all that I had When they nabbed my mom and dad I'll spend the rest of my days just feeling sad With the only friends I'll ever have But as Aaron looked at the faces of the cheering crowd, he couldn't help but wonder how they could be so happy while he was still so sad and angry. He wanted nothing to do with them or their money. I don't want your money. I don't need anything from anybody. Why can't everyone just leave me alone? Hey, that kid just hit me. Let's get him out of here. Oh, good. Run for it! And now it's time for the Veggie Tales Christmas Party, the part of the show where we join our veggie friends at their annual Christmas party. Well into an evening of caroling and fun, the caterer has yet to arrive, and the guests are quite hungry. Man, I'm starving! I'm so hungry, I can eat a reindeer. Oh, yeah? Well, I could eat 12 reindeer and a sled. Oh, yeah? Well, hey, Bob, we got any Ritz bits? I'm sorry, Pa, uh, not yet. The food's not here yet. Hey, look, everybody. It's Oscar, the Polish caterer, with the food. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I hope you're hungry. Oh, thank goodness you're here, Oscar. What took you so long? The Kowalski wedding. Those people eat like you wouldn't believe. We believe. Well, what'd you bring us? What I bring you? What I bring you? I'll tell you what I bring you. The first Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. A boiled potato top with dill weed. The second Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. Two steamed pierogies. Uh, what's a pierogi? It's a dough wrapped around meat. Oh! And a boiled potato top with dill weed. The third Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. Three simmer guamkis. What's a guamki? It's cabbage wrapped around meat. Oh. Two steamed pierogies and, and a boiled potato top with dill weed. The fourth Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. Four baked paprikas. Now, what is a paprika? It's a bell pepper stuffed with meat. I see. Three simmered quumpies. Two steamed pierogies and, and a boiled potato top with dill weed. <laughs> the fifth Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. Five smoke kill What's a kill? 
kielbasa. It's pretty much just meat. Oh. Four big paprika, three simmered quunkies, four steamed pierogies, and a boiled potato topped with dill weed. The six Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. Six fried hoostikis. Oh, let me guess. Something in the meat family? Actually, it's a delightful pastry with a thin flaky crust. Ooh. Five smoked kielbasa. Big paprika, three simmered quunkies, two steamed pierogies, and a boiled potato topped with dill weed. Oh, Oscar, I'm getting kind of this full. The seventh Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. Seven pitted prunes. I don't like prunes. But this food, you'll need them, son. Oh, is that right? Uh-huh. Six fried goose cheekies. Five smoked kielbasas. Oi. Four big paprika, three simmered quunkies, four steamed pierogies, and a boiled potato topped with dill weed. I'm gonna bust the eight Polish Christmas dish I bring to the party. Eight poppy seed cakes. Poppy, poppy, poppy. There's no place like home. Seven pitted prunes. Six fried goose cheekies. Five smoked hell bosses! Four big paprika, three simmered guanties, two steamed pierogies, and a boiled potato topped with kelp. This has been a Veggie Tales Christmas party. Tune in next time to hear Oscar say... Anybody want to lick the spoon? After escaping Jerusalem, Ben Haramid and his troop fled back into the desert. I hope you realize you and your animal friends could have been on your own again by now. We were making a bundle and you had to go throw it all away. What's wrong with you? Well, you're not leaving until you figure out a way to pay me back. Did I just hear a discouraging word? Uh, hey, are we sleeping here tonight? Ben Harriman, take a look at this! Holy smokes! We've hit the jackpot! Look at that! A king! Another king! Two kings! Three kings! I wonder if they have any food. I wonder if they have any chocolate milk. I wonder if they have any gold. Actually, they weren't kings, but magi. What are magi? They were wise men. The Bible tells us that magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, where is the one who's been born king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. The star of Bethlehem? Yep, they'd come following the star to celebrate a very special event, the birth of Jesus, the very first Christmas. Wow, how did they know Jesus was a king? Because long ago, prophets had written that when the star appeared in the night, the king was to be born, and they were bringing him presents. But ben Haramid, whose heart was filled with greed, and Aaron, whose heart was filled with unforgiveness, didn't even notice the star. Okay, little drummer boy, here's the deal. If you and your animals perform for these guys, I'll give you a share of the profits, and you'll be free to go. Fine. One show and I'm out of here. The Bible never mentions the Magi by name, or even how many there were, but tradition has it that their names were Melchior, Gaspar, and Luke Skywalker.
Magi, not Jedi. Can I keep my sand speeder? Uh, probably not. May the fork be with you? Please stop. Okay. And Belthazar. They were on their way to Bethlehem, following the star. I bring gold, a gift for a king. I bring frankincense, a gift for a priest. I bring myrrh, a gift for a savior. Whoops, too much myrrh. Too much sand speeder. Well, now what are we gonna do? We gotta get a move on. Why the rush? <laughs> well, we're... It's the perfect time for an evening show. <laughs> Perhaps a little dinner theater. Knock, knock. You say, who's there? Oh, who's there? Herod. What? Oh, my. Where is he? No, you say, Herod who? Oh. Herod who? Herod, any good jokes lately? <laughs> Evidently not. That was my best one. I gotta find me a better comic. Look, guys, we'd love to stay for the show, but we've gotta be on our way. We're following the star. Yeah, well... Hey, Milk here. I don't think my sand speeder has the energy to go on tonight. How am I gonna bring the myrrh? What? <laughs> oh, you got it, boss. <laughs> hey, Aaron, I think we left the campfire going back at our camp. Can you help me put it out? Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'll make you a deal. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hey, where's Joshua? It seems your camel was in the right place at the right time. <laughs> you sold Joshua? <sighs> you owed me, boy. But I'm not too unreasonable. Here's a little something for your trouble. I don't want your gold. I don't want anything to do with you. Come on, guys! We have to find Joshua! Wait a minute! You're not going anywhere! Oh, let him go! We're done with him! Good riddance! <laughs> yeah, good riddance! <laughs> go back to the sand! tells us the night Jesus was born, there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks by night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy to all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. to have found each other again that they didn't look where they were going. Suddenly, a chariot came thundering down the street. Hey, look out! I'm out of the way! Oh, Baba! You must 
mustn't die. You mustn't. Who can help me? Please, somebody help us! The Magi. They're wise. They'll be able to save Baba. Please, I've got to get inside. You must let me through. And when Aaron came to the entrance of the stable, he could hardly believe what he saw. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. <gasps> Melchior, please help me. Baba has been injured. You must save him. Little boy, we're magi. We know stars much better than we know sheep. There's nothing I can do. But there is one who can help you. The baby? I don't understand. It's okay. Go to him. Our savior, priest, and king. I have no gift to bring. Go. Look upon the newborn king. Little baby, pum 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 pum. I am a poor boy too, pum 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 pum. I have no gift to bring, pum 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 pum. At last he was filled with joy and love and was able to forgive the people who had hurt him. But Grandpa, what about Baba? Along with the shepherds and the magi and Aaron and his animals, two others were drawn to the newborn king by the light of the star. And as Aaron finished playing his song for the babe, he heard two voices he was once sure he would never hear again. Aaron, honey? Mom? Dad? What? We thought you were gone. We thought you were too. We thought we had lost you. Baba. Oh, Dad, Baba is hurt. Do you think you can help him? Sure I can. Don't worry, we'll patch him up. I think with a little time and love, he'll be just fine. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Isn't it wonderful? God has drawn us back together again. It's a miracle. And as Aaron looked at the baby, he thought it was the most beautiful sight he had ever seen. Far more powerful than what any person could take away from him was the gift of love and forgiveness given to him on that first Christmas morning. The end. Isn't it great that because God forgives us, we can forgive others? Yeah. Uh, I wonder who that could be. Give us? For what? 
you know, for ditching me and going caroling without me. We didn't ditch you. We rang the doorbell, but you didn't answer. You did? You must have come when I was in the garage getting the light bulb. Junior, you couldn't hear the bell because you had your headphones on. <laughs> we thought you had ditched us. We forgive you, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. But, Grandpa, will you forgive me for thinking it would be boring to spend time with you and read? You bet. I forgive you. It wasn't boring at all. I loved it. And I love you, Grandpa. I love you too, buddy. Hey, why don't you all come in for some hot chocolate? It's freezing out here. I love hot chocolate. That would be oh, that's awesome. awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just allergic to her, no kitty. Huh? Hey, guys. I've been practicing my drumming. Check this out. Mongolian, chicken, sweet and sour, chicken, cashew, chicken. Do the mushu, mushu, shu, mushu, 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 mushu. Do the mushu. Pork. Mandarin pork, barbecued pork, sweet and sour pork, spicy shredded pork. Pork. Do the tofu, tofu, fu, to, 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 fu, 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 to, 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 Beware of grape with wooden mallet. Ain't that the truth. The bunny, the bunny, whoa, I ate the bunny. I didn't eat my soup or my bread, just the bunny. The bunny, the bunny, oh, I love the bunny. But now I feel sick in the head from the bunny. I didn't eat my salad, I didn't eat my steak. I had too much candy, got a tummy ache. I need to eat good food to help me to grow I'll obey my mama, cause she loves me so Yeah, I'll go to church, and I'll go to school That stuff is important, and I ain't no fool I don't want no pickles, I don't want no honey I just want a plate and a pumpkin and no, a bunny No, 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 girls! No, that's wrong! Oh, well, you're gonna tell get you tummy aches. Now you stop singing that stuff. Listen here, girls. Oh, no. The bunny, the bunny, whoa, I ate the bunny. I didn't need my soup or my bread, just the bunny. The bunny, the bunny, oh, I love the bunny. But now I feel sick in the head. From the bunny. Suspension, it suspends me over heights I've never known. And your roll bar is to die for, by the way. I like your chrome. You already said that. Did I? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you and me in our sport utility vehicles. Cruising to 7-Eleven for a bag of Frito-Lays. Oh, you and me in our sport utility vehicles. We'll slam into four-wheel drive. 
Even if there ever was a snow, you know, a really, really deep snow. And if everyone was stuck but us, we'd be the ones that stuck. Then we could be the heroes. Oh, we could be the heroes. Yeah, we would be the heroes. Who would push them and pull them? I like your car. I like yours too. Periwinkle. It's baby blue. How's it handled? Like a dream. How about poppy? And then ice cream. And now it's time for The Blues with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings the blues. Hey, everybody. I'm gonna lay down some blues. All sunshine and roses. No rain came my way. I said, all sunshine and roses. No rain came my way. Mm-mm. My dad bought me ice cream. Oh, happy, 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 happy day. I ate up that ice cream. Got some on my face. That's right, right on my face. I said, I ate up that ice cream. What you doing? I'm singing the blues. Oh, man. The blues is for singing when you feel sad. But I don't feel sad. Man, you got no business singing the blues. Here, let me help you out. Take this. Cool. Ice cream. Thanks. Now give me back that ice cream. You took my ice cream. You took it from me. You took my ice cream. You took it away from me. Oh, yeah. Now you're getting it. Now listen up. But I'm still not sad. I'll just have a cookie. No, 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 man. You almost had it. Come on, like this. You took away my ice cream. You took it away. Now try it again. My cookies and ice cream, they both gone away. That's right. Mm -hmm. Feel it. My cookies and ice cream, they both gone away. Oh, sweet man. 
sweet. But that don't bother me none. I got me my freshly baked strudel. What? Strudel? Man, you can't say strudel in the blues. That don't even rhyme. Well, what about poodle? Because I got a poodle. <laughs> oh, no, don't tell me you're going to eat that poodle. No, I'm just going to pet him. Petting poodles makes me happy. <laughs> Sorry, man. You way too happy to sing the blues. Hello. Would you like to poker? Oh, sure. Don't got no ice cream, no cookies, no strudel. Don't got no ice cream, no cookies, no strudel. But I'm your lady, your lady, your lady happy too. Just here with my poodle. That's right. Oh yeah, I'm your lady, your lady, your lady happy too. Just me and my poodle. This has been the Blues with Len. Tune in next time to... Oh, never mind. Larry's not likely to be singing the blues again anytime soon. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry Boy, the part of the show where Larry Boy comes out and sings a silly song. We join the league at supper time as they sit down for a meal prepared by Alfred. I don't want to eat my Brussels sprout. He doesn't want to eat his Brussels sprout. And I really, really don't like sauerkraut. Icky, slimy, stinky sauerkraut. My appetite is zero. No need to shed a tear -o. You need a supper hero. Uh, what's a supper hero? Got diddles you don't want to chew. Yeah, not too appetizing. Don't want to eat what's cooked for you. No, not really. Then, citizen, don't fear, oh, I am the supper hero. He is the supper hero. Yummy, 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 Thanks. I like this supper hero. This pasta dish has gotten cold. I beg your pardon? This fish stick looks a little old. It's not that old. You can't go on, I must insist. It's my duty to assist. Well, I'm kind of hungry. Good citizen, don't fear, oh. I am the supper hero. He is the supper hero. Yum, 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 I was gonna eat that. Don't worry, folks, for me it's fun. A supper hero's job's not done. Yummy, 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 yum, yum, yum. Till every supper plate is clean, no matter what type of cuisine. Yummy, 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 yum, yum, yum. Who let him in? Hey, is that chocolate? I love chocolate. Oh, wait! Yummy, 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 yum. Yummy, 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 yum. Ah, good citizens, don't fear, oh, and be of good cheer, oh. I love my new career, oh. I am the supper hero. Dude, he ate our cake. So, what do you say, guys? Can I join the league? This has been Silly Songs with Larry Boy. Tune in next time to hear the league say... No. no. Yummy, 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 yum. Vegetarian, 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 veget